Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. How's this brake looking? That brake's good. All right, guys. Buenos dias. Que pasó? Welcome to Channel John's Moto Garage. Today, I'm going to do a quick ride on the uh, Ninja ZX636. We're going to run over to the stunt lot. You can jump over to John's Stunt Garage for my actual session, but I will show you some clips today. And we'll just talk a little bit about uh, this bike and my impressions on it so far because I have had it for a while But most of my videos have been on the other channel. So let's let's jump into it And I think today we're gonna take an opportunity to bash the uh, stump bikes I'm going to talk about some of the things I dislike about stunt bikes now that I've had this bike for a little while. Just a few of the things that I maybe hadn't thought of before owning the bike that are uh, not awesome about stunt bikes. It's like some dogs got away. Now, obviously I'm still a big fan of the bikes. That's why I still have it and ride it. But there are downsides. So number one, the uh, fuel fuel economy. Not so much fuel economy, but just the fuel capacity. That's what I'm looking for. Obviously, this tank is uh, set up for a legit stunt rider who could do the tank stands and spreaders and high chair and all that stuff. But anyway, as you can see, the tank is slammed down. And so I think I only get like one and a half, maybe two gallons if I'm lucky. So I'm basically filling this thing up at least, at least every other session, if not every session, because it just holds like little to no gas. It's horrible. Reason number two on these is because you have the larger rear sprockets for stunting, your top end game is completely gone. I went riding with a neighbor the other day. We hit the freeway. And this thing maxes out at about 110, which you're not typically you don't typically need to be going that fast, but even cruising at like 70, 80, you're really high up there in the RPM. So obviously it's not built for the freeways. It's built for the stunts, but you definitely lose that top end. Number three, this is only a thing that sucks if you're a newbie like myself. You show up on a bike like this and it's similar to the Supermoto, people just have this set expectation that because the bike looks a certain way, you're already gonna know what you're doing and be like a pro stunt rider. And obviously in my case, that couldn't be any further from the truth. I'm like the, the biggest, biggest noob rookie novice when it comes to it so I have to be very clear with people and say hey the bike looks the part but the rider does not ride the part number uh, four is gonna be just same thing with pretty much every motorcycle that you actually are out there kind of riding and abusing and you know using for a set purpose and that's you're going to be running the risk of uh, breaking the bike and having things malfunction or you know not operate as they should my biggest challenge on this has been getting the brakes dialed in and so yeah I spend a lot of time spend a lot of time messing around trying to figure out these dang brakes and as soon as I think I get them dialed in, I'll end up going out and doing something that um, messes them up again. So we'll see. Number five is it's not cheap to build a stump bike. These things are not cheap to build. And so it's hard to find one that either A, hasn't been completely thrashed and beat the crap, or B, that's not just super, super expensive. Because there just aren't a ton of them out there. And yeah, they're not cheap to build, cost a lot of money. Like 
for what I paid for this motorcycle, I could have gotten a nearly brand new like 600 cc super sport you know and all right there you have it i think that's about it those are the things so far that i'm learning are not super super rad about these bikes uh, a few things I hadn't considered before buying the bike and now I'm starting to figure it out But it doesn't matter because it's a blaster ride and so The fun factor definitely outweighs any of those potential negatives I think that's gonna about do it for this short video. I'm gonna get some gas. It's peak of El Diablo We'll get some gas here and then we will Um Oh, no, it's out of service. Are they all out of service? This one's not. So we'll get some gas. And then roll over and see if we can hit the stunt lot. But yeah, jump over to John's stunt garage. I'll show you my entire session on this thing. This is going to be my third session with this handbrake. Rear handbrake. So how many gallons? 1.5 gallons. Yeah, that sounds right. Just about right. And this may even be slightly too much. It might spill over.